Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Use One Productions, my name is David and in today's quick Unity tutorial we're going to be looking at an FPS limiter and an FPS select option. This is going to consist of either A, your application is locked to a certain FPS during the entire experience or B, your player can actually pause the game or in the main menu you can set up buttons to have your FPS limited to whatever your needs are for your current setup of your computer. As always my friends you can find scripts, models, sound effects, anything that I do on this YouTube channel including today's tutorial, the two scripts we're going to cover, you can find in a Google Drive for a free download and it's linked in the description. Something else in the description is our Discord server where you can find myself and over 200 very talented game developers which are always willing to help or just to meet more friends. And then the final thing before we get into the tutorial is all I'm going to do is ask for a like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy this type of content that I make. It really inspires me to push out more videos for you guys so I appreciate everyone. We're close to 2000 subs so thank you all so much for that. So here we are in a very basic scene. All I've done is added a cube that my player can walk on. My player is from the standard assets that Unity can provide. If you guys want to use the same exact player, it comes set up for you. You can either get them from the asset store or from the package manager. The first system I'm going to go over is this script right here, which is lock FPS. It's a very short script. This is the one that is going to lock the application or the game that you're making at a constant frame rate. So if your game has to run at 60 FPS to run properly, uh, this would be the script you want to use. The actual person downloading and playing the game has no control over their FPS at all. So all we have is a public integer, which you guys can play around with in the editor, which is the frame rate. And then we call to the application and tell it its target frame rate is the frame rate number that we put in here. So to set it up, we're going to right click and create an empty game object and just name this something like FPS locker and then click and drag that script in and then you can change the frame rate from here. So let's go into Unity real quick. Let me actually de deactivate this right here. I have my stats on so we can actually take a look at what my FPS is normally. And as you can see, I'm getting far over a thousand frames as you should in a very blank scene like this. So if I go into the FPS locker, let's turn that script back on. Let's do something a little more native. Let's do 60 FPS and it should remain around the 60 to 70 ish mark. And that's exactly what it's doing right there. And then for a little gag, let's just do 10 FPS. Let's say you're making a PS1 game style. Uh, as you can see, this is definitely 10 frames a second. And like I said, that's a constant frame rate. There's no way the player can actually change it. So now I'm actually going to deactivate the FPS locker empty object we created. So I'm going to go inside my FPS controller. I'm going to right click UI and we're going to do a canvas. Before you do anything with a canvas, you always want to make sure the scaling is proper. So over here in the canvas scaler, we want to change from constant pixel size to scale with screen size. So I'm going to do 1920 by 1080 because this is a very native monitor size and it's a very easy number to scale. So what this is going to do, if I'm playing in a window this size or a full screen, it's going to ensure that uh, no matter what UI I use, it's going to always be in the proper location. So inside that canvas, I'm going to go UI, and I'm going to do a button and I'm just going to call this um, FPS lock. I want to kind of capitalize this a little bit FPS lock and we'll do one. OK, I'm going to also change the height to something like, I don't know, 50. So that way we can see it a little better in our game here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to do a third one for three. So now we have FPS lock one, two and three. And now we just want to make those buttons not overlay each other, something like that. And then we can just move it accordingly where we want it in our screen here. OK, so now we go to the canvas component that is holding all of our buttons and we click and drag lock FPS selector. And I'm just going to open that script real quick. And pretty much all it is is just three different integers. You guys can add more if you want to. So you have frame rate option one, two and three. And pretty much they do the same exact thing as the first script, except we put in a public void frame rate one, two and three so that way the buttons can be accessed separately and then it just depending which button you press so this is a button this is a button and this is a button depending which one you press 
it's going to grab the proper frame rate for it. So this one's going to grab one, this one's going to grab two, this one will grab three. So just to see how this is working properly, we will go back to the canvas. We'll do frame rate option one, we're going to do 15. Option two will be 30 and option three will be 60. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just change the text component to these buttons so they say what their actual frame rate is. So the first one, we're going to do 15 FPS. We're going to go to the second button that was 30 FPS. And then the third button was 60 FPS. Close these up. And now we need to assign what these buttons do because if we play the game right now, the script is not attached to these buttons, so they're not doing anything. And as you can see over here at the top right, I'm still getting that 1000 frames. So to lock in a button, what you wanna do is click the individual buttons, scroll down and you see this on click function. We want to add, and now it's gonna ask you, where's the script coming from? That's what this little box is here for. The script is coming from our canvas. So let's click and drag that in. The reason it's coming from the canvas is because that's where the lock FPS selector is located. So if we go back here into that button we set it up in, we can add a function lock FPS selector and that's going to be frame rate one because this is my button for 15 FPS and my button option number one is 15. And then we're just gonna do that for every button. So just click and drag the canvas in and that was option two. Do it for the third button, click and drag the canvas in or whichever object you have the lock FPS selector attached to. And that was option number three, perfect. So now, if we play the game, all right, so as you guys can see, I'm now in the scene and I'm obviously getting that over 1000 frames at the top right here. This is the number we're looking at. And if I press 15 FPS, it shoots down to around that 15 mark and you can already tell that it is much choppier. Let's go to 30 real quick. And there it is, now I'm getting 34, 36, 32. And it's a little bit smoother, but still not up to gaming standards. So let's do 60 now. And there we are around that 60 to 80-ish mark. And that's going to be just about it for this tutorial, my friends. Like I said in the beginning of this video, if you found anything useful, please remember to drop me a like, subscribe. All these scripts can be found in the description inside of a Google Drive for a free download. Keep that in mind, as well as our Discord server. So thank you all so much for coming. This is User1 Productions signing off for now. Peace.